What do we got? Whiskey. We like whiskey. So this is from Tamworth Distilling in New Hampshire. Yes. And this is the Crab Trapper. The Crab Trapper. This is whiskey made with what? Green crabs or something? This is whiskey made with green crabs. That's correct. Okay. So you bought this during the launch of the Backcountry Cocktails book. That is correct. At Art in the Age that we went to a few weeks ago. We were kind enough to be invited to the release of the book. We had some cocktails. Yeah. And unfortunately, Tamworth Distilling makes a lot of very pretty shiny packages. Me too. And I'm very susceptible. So I had a choice between three different offerings they had there. Uh -huh. The Crab Trapper, made with green crabs. Yes. The Eau de Musk, made with, um, regrettably, uh, a caster gland from a North American beaver, or a the deer slayer, which is made with venison. Huh. And you went with? So I asked uh, which one of the three, I, if I were only buying one, which one to get. And I was told to buy this one because apparently this really sells out. Okay. So I thought, all right, I'll get this. And they said, well, do you like like a, a maritime flavor to your whiskey? Because that's probably what you're going to get with some green crabs. So while you're reading, while you're uh, pouring, I'll read this. Uh, open this thing as much as To create Crab Trapper Whiskey, we teamed up with the University of New Hampshire to find a use for the state's invasive green crab population, which wreaks havoc on the coastal ecosystem. Huh. This invasive species was previously kept in check by the winter freeze and has recently been thriving due to climate change. We want to do our part in protecting our local shellfish by controlling the green crab population in the only way they know how, in a deliciously weird spirit. Mm. Crab Trapper has a bourbon base steeped with a crab, corn, and low country boil blend mixture. Crab Trapper is made with a bourbon base steeped with a custom crab, corn, and spice blend best likened to a low country boil. The crab is present lightly on the nose, accompanied by coriander and bay to smooth out the any high notes. The body carries hints of maple and vanilla, oak, lint from the full body base. The spirit finishes with heavy notes of cloves, cinnamon, and allspice, leaving a light, pleasant spice in the palate. Oh, they did? Yeah, crazy ass wax. And they waxed it something fierce. Jesus, so, God. Are we close to the pop, though? I think so. We got there. We got there. Almost there. There we go. I got all the wax off. Boy, it was a... It was a lot of work. It was candle, like, no, just like no pull tab. It was a candle and pull I got a bone to pick with uh, Mr. Grasse over there. Listen, Steve... All right, there we go. Mm. We pop. A pop. A we pop. Is there going to be a fizz fizz? Possibly a glug glug. No fizz fizz. I don't think there's going to be a glug glug. Not with that neck. What, what's what's the what's the money line on that? I say yes. Okay. Uh, it's more mm. of a splash splash. Yeah, it wasn't so bad. It was a splash splash. So yeah, so they got the crab trapper. They also uh, made in the past uh, one with the Dorian brandy. Mm. And another one that was a roasted turkey whiskey. Durian's the really Which, smelly Yeah, they're really, yeah, it's really powerful. Pungent. Powerful. Never smelled it, never tasted it. Kind of scary. They made one that was the Bird of Courage roasted turkey whiskey, which I oh. have to think would have been something fantastic to try as well for the holidays. Interesting. Well, the holidays are, will be here before we know mm -hmm. it. So Maybe it'll come back out again. All right, sir. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you. This is... You know what? No cheers to whoever waxed that bottle. <laughs> I take the cheers they, away. They went beyond the, uh, yeah, the bigger smart. They went above and beyond. Above and beyond. Wow. I gotta say, that smells really good. It's, I like that smell. It's very peculiar. Yeah, but because nice you, way. you get like the maritime briny, yeah, but then you also get a lot, like, I'm like a, a lot of vanilla. Weird. It's yeah. weird. What were the spices? Did they say? They said you're gonna pick up. Uh, oh, they said there was. They put like a low country boil. Yeah, right? low country boil. They said so. Yeah. Where they put like one of those like weird like herb like. A, so you're like getting a, a little bay seasoning. So is it like is it like chickies and Pete's crab fries in, uh, in a glass? I, I hope not. Now I believe at the event they said this will make a really good like Bloody Mary. I could see that. I don't really like Bloody Marys, but I could see that. Put enough horseradish in there, yeah. enough Tabasco, and, and and something fun. But you're getting uh, coriander and bay. Yeah, I guess. And then maybe some clove and small spice. Yeah, I, I suppose it's, it's a lot of spices, a lot of funky stuff, but it smells really good. It's a nice combo. I'm going in. Yeah, uh -huh. same here. That's pretty nice. I'm not picking up like all that stuff that I was getting, but it's really good. It has that fishy aftertaste. Does it? I'm not getting fishy aftertaste. I'm getting that. No. It's uh, 46%. Not a lot of heat. No, no, no. Enough no. heat, but not a lot of heat. Yeah, no. I'm getting like that salty, briny... 
after tasting ham. It could be psychosomatic yeah. for me. Yeah, well, get now, you know what, now? I, I just got a little fishy. Get a little, yeah. Get I a got a little fishy. I got a little, yeah. a little, little fishy yeah. in the back end. Like I had myself a, a little kipper. Yeah. Oh, don't, please, you want? I got that. I do have that. I got some kippers. Mm. I do not know that you should drink this straight. Why? I think you're missing the point. I think, like you said, there's so many flavors yeah, involved. Yeah, but you could. You, you probably want a cocktail with this. I think it's very drinkable the way it is. No, I don't mean it's not drinkable. I just think you're missing out of adding this as the ingredient in the cocktail. You could probably upstage, like you said, you could have thrown into Bloody Mary. What about this into something totally different? What about what about old fashioned with this? Uh, I don't Ooh, know. You know what would be nice? You know how I like my celery soda? Yeah, I'm thinking that. Like this? You could throw that in. This, I think I've got some kind of like celery bitters or something yeah, like that. that. I had some kind of, we had yeah. some weird bitters years ago. You said it's a savory cocktail as opposed to maybe, an old-fashioned. Maybe make it like a highball with a yeah. celery stick yeah. in there. I, I don't think you could make this into a, an old-fashioned. You could I, try. I, I think you'd lose with the I sweetness. I think you need, you need the right bitters. I think you need the right bitters. But you also put in sugar and you put some other stuff in the old-fashioned yeah. too, which I don't think you would do with this. You could. I just, I think you'd put this in a glass with a salt rim. Mm. Throw a little tomato, tomato, a little Tabasco. Mm. Maybe I like it. Very interesting. I think it's pretty good. I like it the way it is. I, I like it like Very that. Interesting. It almost has like a like an aperitif kind of thing. You know, just kind of yeah, get get yeah, the mouth yeah, going, yeah, get it going. Yeah, Maybe yeah. this and like some yeah. oysters. Throw this. Yeah. Or Throw. or the old bar. You know, the crab claws, the crab claws. with the crab claws with the butter. Uh -huh. Oh. Or even those the eggs. You get the oh, eggs. the deviled eggs! The deviled eggs. That this would be this would this would go with a meal. Again, I, I think if you drank it by itself, it would be fine. There's yeah. nothing wrong with drinking it by itself. Uh -huh. But I, I think it would really turn cocktails on their sides by throwing this in there because yeah. it just has so much of like a, a briny quality to it. Mm. And I really like the stuff from Campbelltown, which is pretty much all brine. Yeah, yeah. So this is not this a is, wheelhouse. This thing is for me, that. But this with, is good but with a little bit of spice. To yeah, it. yeah. You know what I mean? That's it's nice. That's, that's fun. I think it's solid. Yeah. I think it's a really it's solid nice. drink. That's so good. while I was a little bit scared, no, not anymore. No, 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 no. I'm not anymore. See, they put a scary thing exactly. on it, but they turn into something nice. See, they try to scare me off, but it was so pretty and shiny, I had to get it anyway. You know what they're doing? They're trying to challenge you. I think that's what it was. It's a dare. Well, they dared you to buy it, and you did. So. They, they double dog dared. That was good. I like it. It was good. So, sir, thank you for sharing. Sure. And uh, thank you to Tamworth for all yeah. their wacky, wacky things they do. And now I got to get the Odin I Musk. think we need to take a ride. Odin Musk. I think we need to call our boy Steve. To the booze mobile? Call our, 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 our woman, uh, uh, Kylie, and say, all right, hook us up. We need to go. We need to go. To the booze plane? Road trip. Road trip. Road trip. Road trip. I'm in. Fall. Get the little fall, fall foliage. We're in. Watch the leaves change. Yep. All right, man. Cheers. Cheers.